Hello everyone, welcome back to Simulator First Person View channel. Today, I will show you how to set up guide and review Husenwell Engineering Sims Pedals Pro. And uh, set up guides to optimization for both heel and toe down shifting and also left foot braking technique. Okay, let's start first with the select the correct bucket type that come with your kit. There are two types of brackets. First is the parallel brackets. And the second is the slope type bracket. You can see this is a I install the slope type of bracket. Parallel and slope type. You have fit type of configuration. You are simply. First one, six position typical simply. Deck angle. This is a deck. And the bracket. You must use the angle type bracket. The second one is the flat deck seat position typical symmetric deck flat bracket angle and here and the seat high is 20 uh, 280 millimeter high. I have this type of sim rig, so I select the angle type brackets because my seat height is 250 mm. And the third type of set con of configuration is the seat position sport car. Direct and the bracket use the parallel brackets type you can see because the seat height is only 100 millimeter the fourth configuration is the GT type seat position deck flat and the seat height fifth only 50 millimeter and you use the parallel bucket and the last one the fifth configuration is for formula one six position you can see this is the only one that the seat is below the pedal pro you can see 130 millimeter seat below the pedal and this time use parallel brackets and must adjust the angle or pedal to 50 50 degree yes also this is a let's start with the Position of total pedal X here and Y exit here. Set X exit. This is mark. This mark is the center line of the steering wheel. The total pedal from this center line of the steering wheel is the 50 millimeter to the right of the center line of the steering wheel. This is hand wheel optimization for left foot braking technique. 50 millimeter from center line of steering wheel. Now setting the Y axis here 
of the total pedal. This mark is the center line of the slot total pedal. You must move the total pedal closer to you. 7 millimeter. 7 millimeter. Move close to you. You can see. Move total pedal closer to you at the 7 millimeter. This will help the heel and toe down shifting technique and set the angle of the total pedal to optimize the heel and toe down shifting by lift a little bit must lose the four ball here, here, and here, here. Loosen at the same time. Loosen two ball at the same time. So you loosen. You can lift up the total pedal to optimize the heel and toe down shifting. I must use the hello V2. It's about the 15 mm high from the bed pad. You see? Fifteen millimeter from base pad to the center of the lock bow. Fifteen millimeter. This value for optimize the heel and toe down shifting technique. After finish locking two bow at the same time. Locking two bow at the same time. Okay. Be careful. Do not tighten this two bow because this is the Push, pushing here. Do not tighten. Now, adjust the tension spring to your liking, the pressure for for your total pedal by loosening these two screws at the same time. I think the center that comes with the factory setting is too weak, too weak for lower is uh, really easy to turn. It's a high for thing from the factory it is the center here and I must a little bit for more pressure. After finish locking two ball at the same time. Remember do not over tighten. Tighten at the same time. Finish or adjust rail spring. Uh, total spring. Now adjust the stroke of your total pedal here by adjust this stopper. Losing 
two ball at the same time. Now you can move this popper to adjust the photo stroke. Okay, this very sharp and here very long. I prefer like a little bit here. After finish lock two bow at the same time. Finish to adjust the stroke length of your turtle player. Next, adjust the total pedal pad high. You have the position here by losing this screw. Here. First position here, lowest. Second and highest. Adjust to your liking position here and this self block nut screw Locking the photo over there. Finish. Let's start with the egg exit of the brake pedal. The same. This is the center line of the steering wheel. The center line of the brake pedal. From the steering wheel is the 50 millimeter this is the same ring as the total pedal okay move the brake pedal to the distance of the 50 millimeter equal ring at off at the total pedal see the same length This will help for the optimize your left foot braking technique. Now set the Y exit of the brake pedal to optimize for the U and toe down shifting by move the brake pedal far from the Total pedal at the seven millimeter distance. As you can see, this is a total pedal, and move the brake pedal far from the far from you seven millimeter. See, this will help the heel and toe down shifting for brake pedal. Now set up the stiffness of your brake pedal by changing the rubber reaching here. The white one is softer and the black one is harder. You must change uh, the Stopper at the same height. I will change this one to this one. You must select the same height of the bushing. Now, to move this, uh, you press here. Very easy. Press here and 
But watch here. You can see. And watch here. Change the white soft button to the black hand one. Back. Watch here. Watch here. Watch here. Break. Watch here. Watch here. And the last one. Watch here. Okay, see? Big and small. Just big here. And then Put him back into the red pedal. Finish. Now you will break pedal. You stiffer. Turn here to here. For the ankle of the brake pedal, keep at the default factory value at zero ankle. Yeah. Now your brake pedal is ready and finished. Now, the last one, clutch pedal for the X and Y exit, adjust to your liking. And for the Y exit, I adjust the Y exit at the same as the total pedal. You see? Same as the total pedal for the Y axis and for the X axis, I put the clutch pedal to the leftmost end of the slot here. You can see, put the clutch pedal to the left farmers and off. The slot here. Yeah. That is the X Y exit adjustment for the clutch pedal. And now you adjust clutch characteristic. From the factory default, the hole of the clutch characteristic is the third hole. This is from the factory default. After I try, the best link for me is the second hole of this from the top. This first, the second, and third is a factory. Now I will change the third hole to the second hole. It depends on your liking, but. For me, the second hole 
he's feeling the best. Now, adjust by first losing these two bolts at the same time. Losing this two bow, this is a lock locking nut. You have two washer from each side. Here, these two washer you can see between the sewing pen. Two washer here, and also two washer here. We wear, we wear this. And see the second washer here, and also the bowl. Chain it to the second hole. Get to here. Don't forget to watch your here. Okay, now the second. And watch your. And the second washer here, you can see the second washer. Chain to the second hole. Washer, don't forget washer. And now install the swing pad, left swing pad. Washer, don't forget. And save locking that.
What's your right sweep it? What's your and locking that? Now. Put it and install the swing pad here, left and right, by push the spring back a little bit. Okay, and then tighten this two bolt. You must tighten. Do not tighten this two bolt too much because this is not the free moving. This is a pivot point. So if you <coughs> tighten too much, it will stuck. Tighten these two bolts just a little bit and put the Allen key. Do not too much tighten. This is the pivot. It's much swing like this. Finish. And now adjust the spring. The fault to press the clutch pedal here yeah. depend on your liking yes locking two bolts two bolts at the same time finish and then you can adjust the clutch stroke by losing these two bolts at the same time but this stopper from default factory I think is the best I use the default factory for the position of the stopper now your clutch is already done Finish and ready to use. You can see the wiring of three pedal here. Yeah. I have the mark number to identify when connect or disconnect this plug into the USB controller and also this USB cable this plug go into the USB controller and this side connect to the PC and see use a cable tie yeah. And we have the this four hole to mount your USB controller here. But I use the wooden thread to in mounting the USB controller for myself. Now, now you are C 
Sim Pedal Spool is ready for install to your link. Total brake and clutch. And also have the optimized value for heel and toe down shifting or left foot braking. Let's see. The side. Now install the SIM pedal pro to the pred, wooden pred. This is a wooden pred and stick with the 2M, 3M tap to the floor, very firm. And I have the USB controller here. Connect the button of the shifter to Y here. And so, the, remember, this is the center line of the steering wheel. Here, the center line of the steering wheel. To optimize left foot braking and also heel and toe down shifting okay the center eye of the steering wheel here and now connect the okay connect the i have the mark red d1 to the d1 No mark to no mark and D3 to D3 and also the USB connected to the using well USB controller. Then connect the USB right to the cup to the PC. Use cell tapping screw for tapping screw to install the bread pad to the wooden. This is a cell tapping screw. Now tighten for cell tapping screw here. To firm the wooden plate. Finish. Okay, now your pedal must to calibrate before use the calibration guide is in the description below the clip. You must use DI wheel software to calibration your pedal before use. After you calibration your pedal will ready.
to rest. And the last item to install the simple is my real carpet from real car. This is to solve the place pad that is the aluminum. We use the Soften your breath, best breath. If you dive it, you're barefoot. Finish. All right. ready. Hope you like this video. View from the top view and see the carpet. On the car. Okay. Hope you hope you like this video. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.